All right, everybody, log on to paradeck.com. Make sure you log into your uh, your own accounts instead of the Chromebook English account. While you log on, I'll take attendance. Fourteen. Let's go. All right. So today we're talking about types of characters in fiction. Uh, we know the main two types of characters in fiction, um, which are. Does anybody remember the first? Uh, the two. And antagonist. Protagonist and antagonist. Somebody tell me what protagonist means. The uh, main character usually the good guy. Main character is usually the good guy. Uh, usually the good guy. There are some exceptions to the rule, remember? We were talking about Maleficent, um, how it kind of flipped the script. And so the main character is actually the person uh, who was more evil. Um, if you look at um, other scenarios, such as uh, Scrooge in uh, A Christmas Character, or A Christmas Carol. Um, and somebody else tell me what uh, antagonist is, or who, an example of an antagonist. And the person is the bad guy. It's the person normally the bad guy. And so what is that bad guy, um, what makes that character a bad guy? He's causing conflict to the protagonist. Causing conflict to the protagonist. Um, so if you remember that plot diagram, remember I said usually there's that inciting incident we talked about. So with the inciting incident, you have... Uh, that conflict begin going up that rising action. Well, today we're going to talk about other types of characters and other ways to categorize those other characters, uh, even categorizing further the protagonist and antagonist. So again, protagonist and antagonist. Um, here's a, a good example, Harry Potter and Voldemort. Which one is protagonist? Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Antagonist? Voldemort. Voldemort. Um, but if the story was told from Voldemort's point of view, which I think would be really interesting, um, he would be the protagonist and Harry would, be, would then become the antagonist because you have to look at who's my main character, who's telling the story, um, who's the narrator, what point of view is it in um, to help us find who that narrator is. And then you can really analyze, well, who is um, the protagonist and who is that antagonist. Um, so can you name some famous antagonists? Um, go ahead and type those uh, in on those dialogue boxes. They'll start populating here. We'll look at some of those. So famous antagonists. Cartoon characters. Cartoon characters. Um, yeah. So remember, they're antagonists. There could be cartoons, movies, books, short stories. It could even be a, a true antagonist, if you will. How many do you need? Doesn't matter. Just you get to enter. I think you, uh, you're able to answer more than once. Can you in real life? That's not in prison. Mm, as long as somebody like commonly known. So we have Evil Queen, Cinderella's uh, stepmother and her stepsisters. Those are good ones. Mark Zuckerberg. He's an antagonist. Uh, we'll have to talk about that one in a minute. Uh, Darth Vader, Joker, Mr. Freeze, uh, Joker, Riddler, Penguin, Green Goblin. We have a lot of comic book ones. Those are really good uh, things to pull from. Uh, Venom, Green Lantern. Big Bad Wolf, we talked about that one when we were learning about protagonist and antagonist. Any more? Let's see. Why do you think Mark Zuckerberg? <laughs> well, if you look at the social network, it causes a lot of conflict in that story. Yeah, but isn't he the protagonist? Because isn't that story about him? Well, you can change perspectives and change. Okay, that's an interesting um, concept. So people can change, and we'll talk about that. And um, our our characters about how 
a protagonist can change and what that means. Uh, Wicked, Team Plaza, Plasma, Plankton. Plankton, all fresh into the writing lab for Spring Pictures, all fresh into the writing lab for Spring Pictures. Also, any bad students who need any kind of repairs, chill binds, if you get those to Miss Quiet at this time. All right, so these are all um, some interesting ones here. Uh, but yes, y'all seem to get a concept on uh, antagonists. Let's look at uh, famous protagonists. So let's see some examples of uh, famous protagonists. Superman, one of my favorites. Cinderella, Snow White, Belle. So Disney's always a good thing to pull from. Batman, Pikachu, Ash, the Dragon Ball Z. Or no, is that Pokemon? Pokemon. All right, I'm trying to be cool and know what these things are. Uh, Iron Man, SpongeBob, Harry Potter, Iron Man. Got any more? Alright. Luke Skywalker. Spider Man. The Ash Guy again. The Hulk. Goku. That's Dragon Ball Z. Okay. Yeah. Um, Ron Weasley. Steve Jobs, kinda. <laughs> Kill me. The social network. Um, Alright. Everybody answer something. All right, so these are good examples of protagonists, people uh, who are usually the good guys. Um, but again, it also depends on the story you're talking about because um, there are uh, evil spider boy. Is it Venom? Is Venom evil Spider-Man? Something like that. There's alter egos of superheroes a lot of times in these universes. Um, and then there's alternate stories like in Maleficent and uh, Sleeping Beauty where they kind of switch perspectives. Uh, so always really look at your point of view, who is my main character, um, if it's first person, who is my narrator, um, and what is this plot all about. So now we're going to take it a little step further. Um, we're going to learn about other characterization of characters. So even within a protagonist and an antagonist, like you were saying, um, characters kind of change throughout. You can have static, dynamic, round, or flat characters, and we can add that um, to their characterization. So we're going to watch this video. It's going to give you a, a little short um, overview of what these uh, new types of characters are. Um, let me make sure my volume's up and you can hear this. All right, so types of characters in literature. And as they're going through it, kind of think of some um, examples that you could give. All right. So we have um, now we have dynamic and static, round um, and flat characters to add um, to these character types. Now sometimes characters can be more than one. You can be a protagonist and be a round character and a dynamic character all at the same time. So sometimes they have many characterizations when you look at um, types of character. We'll be going over those um, in more detail. So static characters. Uh, these are characters. Uh, like I said, that um, stays the same throughout the story. So uh, in my example here, in The Lion King, hopefully we're all familiar with The Lion King, um, you have Scar. Now, even though Scar is an important character, the importance in this doesn't really matter as much as it does that that character does not change. So Scar doesn't really change. He doesn't see the error of his ways. He doesn't see that... Uh, killing Simba's poor daddy Mufasa is a bad thing. He doesn't feel remorse. He's a very um, static 
character. We still know a lot about him, um, but he doesn't really have that emotional change that a lot of uh, characters do. And so a lot of times uh, your antagonists, where they're not always static characters, they're more likely to be static characters than a, a protagonist would be. Because a protagonist being a main character, you usually get to see inside their mind and their emotions a little uh, more than you do your antagonists. Um, so Scar would be one example. So I want you uh, to draw an example of a static character, just a, a quick sketch of a character that would be considered static. So this would be from cartoons, um, to movies, to books. It doesn't have to be a, a brilliant drawing of the character, uh, just something to where I can kind of see what you're trying to go for. And if you have to, you can kind of spell it out a little bit. Oh, oh, uh, Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, at least in Despicable Me, they would be considered a static character. They kind of get their own personality a little in their own movies. Mm 